what the Lord is asking of us to for us to do it his way for us to give up our give up our authority to give up our to yield ourselves to him to truly allow the Holy Spirit to be our comforter our God our power source and for him to truly be the head of our life so in Proverbs 16 and 3 it says if you commit your commit your ways to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed and so let me slow down but um so basically I just came on here to tell you guys that you know I know for a fact that every day is not easy um doing the work in the will of the Lord ministering taking care of our families going showing up on our jobs whatever assignments you have at the church for those of you who are married taking care of your spouse I know sometimes you feel it's easy to feel overwhelmed it's easy to, easy to feel overburdened but there is hope and whenever I come I just come to to give you a solution to give you some some just a little piece of help something to help you along the way and um so earlier this week the Lord he took me to um, a scripture that really really blessed me it helped me out a great deal and I'm gonna read it to you and then I'm gonna tell you what I got from it but it says Matthew uh, uh, chapter 11 verse 28 it says come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest I is in the Lord now take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light he said come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this word, oh God. I pray that you allow me to say it how you gave it to me, oh God. I pray that the word do what it was sent out to do, Father God. I pray that at its strength be the portion of the people, oh God, that peace, that rest, that joy, that healing, let it transpire from your word. And that it's a two-edged sword, oh God. And so let it cut and let it clean up. In Jesus' name, I do pray. But um, so I really like that part. It said, "Come to me." He's telling us that, "Hey, hey, come on, I got you. You're not in this by yourself. I'm in this with you. Come to me." He's telling you that we have access in Him. He's telling us that we don't have to wait till you get to church on Sunday. You don't have to go through the priest. You don't have to do any of those things that they had to do in the um, Old Testament where they couldn't even get into the presence of God. Aren't you glad that you can get into the presence of God for yourself? I'm so grateful for my, my brothers and sisters at church because the Bible says don't forsake him to assemble amongst each other so that we can build each other up and motivate each other until the coming of Jesus Christ. But I'm so grateful that even riding in my car or in my yard or in my bathroom that I can call on the Lord and his presence comes down. So, so grateful. All right, it says, all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened. So if the Lord is telling us to come to him, if we're tired and we're burdened down, that lets me know, that makes me feel like he's saying, okay, He's taking responsibility for it. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened. He's taking responsibility for it, and, he's, and he has a solution as well. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. He said, now do what I do and do it how I say do it. Watch what I'm telling you. Learn something. Pay attention to what I'm, what, pay attention to what I'm doing. Watch what I'm showing you and do it like that. For I am gentle and I am humble in heart. 
And so what he's saying with that is, um, with him being humble in heart, that he's not easily offended. He doesn't take everything to heart. Um, humble in heart. He's not prideful. He doesn't let his the offenses, because a lot of times we're very burdened and, and tired because we're holding on to so much. So many different things that may have hurt us. So many different things that may have offended us. Um, so many things that make us feel sad. We feel compassionate about certain situations. Our heart is feeling heavy. And God says he's humble in heart. And he says that he's gentle. His, it's not um, It's not just, ooh, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. No, you're walking in full authority. You're just doing it with style and with grace. And so... And he said, you and you will find rest for your souls. So he said, do this, three steps, boom, come to me. If you're weary, he'll give you rest or no, come to me, take his yoke and learn from him. And he, he ends back up and again and says, and I will give you rest. And so that's what the Lord is telling us. He said, well, he has rest for us. He has peace for us he has a solution for us it doesn't have to be um just over overbearing because that's not the will of the father and he says for my yoke is easy what i'm asking you to do is not too much and my burden is light is something that you can do so sometimes we may find ourselves outside of the will of god trying to do nice things, trying to be um, productive or possibly tied up in the wrong situations, the wrong relationships, the wrong jobs, all sorts of things, places that we could have been supposed to move on from, but we're still there lingering and we already upgraded from that. Um, we have to take the yoke of the Lord. And I feel like he's telling us to, he said, my yoke, if you're doing what he has predestined for you to do you're doing what he has set aside for you to do you're walking in one with him you're in tune with him it's easy because you're graced for it. you have been equipped for it you you are being trained for it you have everything on the inside of you that you need for the job already and he said and my burden is light what i'm asking you to do is not too much because guess what the ultimate price was already paid. Somebody had to die on the cross. Somebody had to live a sinless, blameless, per perfect life and be slain for our sins. That's already been done. And so anything else the Lord is asking us to do is not that. And so it's nothing that is too, it's too, it's not too much. So I just wanted to encourage you all tonight to come to the Lord, all who are weary and burdened. And he says, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Do what I do and learn from me. Do it how I do it. Do it how I'm telling you to do it. For I am gentle and humble in heart. Excuse me. Don't be so prideful. Don't be walking around like you think you know everything, like you have it all together, like you don't need the help of the Father. You're too big to receive the help from those around you. That's not the will of God. That's another thing. Sometimes we don't receive the help that's coming to us. We just want to continue to go, 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 to where you're burnt out, you're tired, you're weak. God has strategically placed people in your path that can help you out. He strategically placed people along your, um, that's a part of your assignment that they can help you and you can help them receive it. It's all a part of the package deal when we receive Christ. It's all a part of the deal when he gave us um, the commission to go out and win souls. He had everything that we needed for it. And we're walking around burnt out, tired, overburdened. Come to me, praise me, pray, worship, spend time with me. Let me fill you back up. Get in my presence, get in my face. Listen to what I'm trying to say. 
And he said, and I will give you rest. That is such a blessing to me, y'all. Because I know there are days out here when I'm, I'm just tired. I'm tired. And I feel like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Nah, 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 But guess what? On those days, I've just been running. Did not take the time to pause and allow the Lord to fill me up. Some days, I have so much on my schedule, so much on my plate, um, so much of my assignment that pulls for me, whether it's emotionally or physically or spiritually, but it, it wears me out to where I have to go back before the Father several times a day. Like, hold on, hold on. We finna go get in this place. We finna go worship. We finna go praise so I feel better, so I feel lighter, so I don't feel burdened down. Practice it. Practice it. It may not come overnight, but just remember, be reminded, go to your father if you're weary and burdened and he will give you rest. Take of him, learn of him. He's lowly in heart and he's gentle. And your soul, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That is one of the many promises that we have in God. And I'm so, so grateful. So I'm going to pray with you guys. And I'm going to head out. And I'll see y'all soon. And um, I love you so much, Ladybugs. I hope all is well. I am still in my new house. Enjoying it. Enjoying my kids. Enjoying the neighborhood. I have found um, a hidden treasure here in Florence, Alabama. It's called Salt and Light. It's off of Wood Avenue. And... um. It's a beautiful place of worship. It's a beautiful place of praise. I'm so grateful for um, my new beginning family. I'm so grateful for my Grace House family, where I'm a member of, um, with Pastor Eddie Lawrence. Um, shout out to Brother Tom Phillips. I could not have did it without him. All my leaders back at home that poured up into me over the years. Michael Jordan, Sandy Jordan, Pastor Carmella. Pastor Apostle Troy, um, Pastor Sherry, um, those at Connection Church. I'm so, so grateful. And um, thanks. And not even just the pastor, pastoral, and the leadership team. Although, you know, I give honor to them because those are the places that God put them. But um, thank you to my friends and my family and those of you who believe in me. Y'all, we're going somewhere. Um, I have a lot going on in the spirit realm, and I'm excited about what God is going to do. I'm excited about what's next. I'm excited about what's to come, and keep watching. There's more to come. We're not going to end here. Um, I hope you like my little lights. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, God is so good. I love you all so much, and um, I'm going to pray, and we're going to head up out of here. So, dear Heavenly Father, Thank you so much for your spirit. Thank you so much for your truth. Thank you so much for your word that is a lamp unto our feet, oh God. I ask that you continue to give us revelation and understanding of your word. Continue to lead us, oh God, into the paths of righteousness, Father God. Lord, I ask that you continue to make us more like you, God. Cleanse us, purify us, God. Whatever you need to take out the way, Father God, anything that may be a hindrance, Father God, I give you full permission now, oh God, to just do what you got to do, Father God. Whatever you want to add to us, Father God, I give you full permission, oh God, to do what you want to do, oh God. Have your way, Father God. Let your spirit rest, rule, and, ab and abide in us, Father. Thank you. Thank you for the power of your word, the truth of your word, Father. I ask that you watch over us, your people, Father. I ask that you be with us on our journeys, oh God. Be with us on our days. And allow us to remember the Great Commission, which is to go out and win souls. That is what this is all about. Us winning souls for the kingdom. Because one day, this world is going to come to an end. And every knee is going to bow and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And um, hell is hot. <laughs> as, as said, hell is hot. You burn forever. And that's not a place that you want to go. 
I would rather go to where my heavenly father is, the one that has helped me, the one that has been with me, where Jesus Christ is, where the many believers before me are. That's where I want to go. And um, we're going to get there. So God is so good. You guys are so wonderful. Ladybugs, I love y'all. And um, I'll see you soon.